and welcome back to our virtual Big South Basketball Media Day. As we continue with Hampton University, and our women's basketball team, led by David Six in his 12th year leading the Lady Pirates. Coach Six, good afternoon. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to, great to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let's talk about how your preseason preparations are going uh, with the squad. Well, uh, mostly we've been doing conditioning. We get, we, uh, our school did uh, virtual learning, so got a little bit of a late start, but mostly we've been conditioning, but that's been going well so far. And also joining us from your program, uh, sophomore forward, Nyla Young. Nyla, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Great to see you. Congratulations on being named to the preseason all-conference team earlier this morning. Let's kind of get your perspective on how uh, the conditioning that Coach Six mentioned and uh, how different of a preparation it is for this year has been for you and your teammates. Yeah, like Coach Six said, like it's been very different, obviously because we've been virtual and we've been really working hard and trying to, you know, do the things that we need to do so we can be great on the court and to finish what we started from last year. Thank you, Nyla. And we'll start taking questions for both Coach Six and Nyla Young to answer your, to enter your name into the question queue. Just uh, click on our group chat and enter your name who you'd like to talk to. And we'll get to your questions as they, uh, as they come in. And Coach, the first, or the first question is, is for Coach. It's from Ray Nemo. Go ahead, Ray. Uh, hey, Coach, how you doing? How you doing? Doing very well. Uh, so when we talked over the summer um, about your recruiting class, I know one of the things you wanted to focus on was your defense. And I wanted to ask, um, you have Nyla and Van Arsdell returning for, for some good offense, but what have you seen from, from the youngsters so far, and, and how is that panning out as far as improving your defense? Well, um, we brought in four dynamic freshmen, um, and the first thing we took a look at was, could they play the type of defense that we wanted them to play? And the answer to that is 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 yes. Um, we also have several um, transfers. Uh, we were tenth in the league in, in rebounding last year, and uh, we 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 feel like we've addressed that. And uh, we also uh, took a look at some young ladies who transferred who could play the type of defense that. So to answer your question, yes, we have that certainly addressed the defensive end of the floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nyla, I wanted to ask you, um, what does what the, the honor mean for you being picked first team all conference and the, the work that you put in your freshman year? Um, and what have you done to improve on that and, and go forward and to be, continue being successful? Um, I'm very grateful uh, to be selected for an honor for preseason. And um, it's just, I feel like my freshman year was pretty good and all, but it gave me insight on what I need to do to become better as a player. And just, you know, I've been focusing on my conditioning. Like Coach Six said, we've been focusing on conditioning and getting ourselves in better shape so we can be great on the court. So yeah, I'm just, it's a learning experience and I'm just grateful for the honor, but still I need to, you know, do the things to become a better player. So. Coach, what do you think makes Nyla a dynamic player? Um, Nyla is very deceptive. Uh, you know, she's, she's light on her feet for her size. She handles the ball well. She's got those big old mitts that, that she, can, she can handle. Them. And she can play inside and out. So she can, she can punish you inside on the block, but she can also shoot the three. So, you know, she's, she's a complete player. Nyla, what was the biggest um, obstacle you faced coming from Kings Fork to the to the collegiate experience, and and how do you think you've you've um, adapted and are more prepared for your collegiate season this time around? Um, obviously the pace the pace of the game is much faster than high school, and you have to learn to you have to learn quicker. Like you have to be able to obtain what coach is saying and to you know do it on the court and like just like that like in a quick like you have to be able to know what to do and think on the floor more as a player so yeah 
And coach, I also wanted to ask you, um, besides the new players, uh, the returners, uh, accepting Nyla, who we've already talked about, uh, who are some of the, the returning players that you expect to, to have a, a great impact this year? Well, um, obviously, uh, Lauren Van Arsdale was, uh, you know, while she's, she's uh, coming back from an injury, she was certainly one of the better players in the Big South last year, first team all-conference. So it's, it, it, it's nice for her to be on your team. Um, you know, uh, the Layla Ticolas, she, um, she did some good things for us last year. Uh, and she's returning. We had a really good freshman named Elena, Elena Townsend. She did not play last year. She was injured, but we expect her to do some big things for us as well. Um, uh, Alyssa Sweeney comes in and gives us uh, some perimeter scoring or whatever. So I think that uh, we, we, we got six returners, so we've got some experience coming back, but we also got some other dynamic players as well. And what are your thoughts on uh, being picked fourth? Uh, that, that's pretty good with a kind of a new influx of players and uh, good returning players. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I'm kind of like Coach Joan from Radford. My mom used to say before she passed, all the games got to be played on the floor. So, you know, four doesn't mean anything. Uh, let, let's see how it shakes out at the end. I think every coach would say that. Ray, anything, anything further? Um, no, I'm good. Great, thank you. We're going to move on to Scott Cash, who has a question. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, Coach, uh, good to see you. And um, first of all, I can't believe you're already in your 12th year. Uh, congrats on that. That's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, can, and can you just tell me a uh, big picture thing here? What – and your program, what is at the heart of your program? And is it where you want it to be? Um, I will say this. Uh, uh, I think the effort is where we want it to be. The results uh, were not where we wanted them to be the last couple of years. Uh, last year, we had four major injuries, and we won 18 games. Uh, we were uh, 323rd in – rebounding in the country and we won 18 games I, I tell the kids all the time what if we were 223 you know what we could have done so um I think if we stay healthy uh, we can finish where we want to be we you know obviously the goal is to win a championship and I, I think that's where uh, we're trying to go and and uh again about the uh the heart of the program what do, what do you think is at the heart of the David Six Hampton we, University women's program? We play hard. We, you, you know, we play hard. Uh, we, we try to get after you on defense. We try to turn you over. Uh, and we need um, players who buy into that. Um, that's, that's what's made us successful in the past. Uh, and I know that's what's going to make us successful in the future. Uh, we got to have the athletes to do that. Uh, we've uh, certainly addressed that and revamped the, the roster a little bit uh, to play the way we want to play. And, and so at the heart of everything is our ability to, to, to get after you on defense and, and play hard. That's all I've got. Thank you, Scott. Coach, as we wrap up, um, you, know, you have the two preseason all-conference and Lauren and Isla. What improvements are you looking for, uh, or have you talked with Nyla, uh, from moving from freshman to sophomore, uh, and that and that expected growth? You know, now now Nyla can't sneak up on anybody. She's gonna be in the scout, so now she's got to handle double teams and 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 being the person that that uh, the opponent is trying to take away. So she's she's got to grow in that area. Um, We've talked and she's, she's alluded to it, talked about her conditioning and we're working on that right now, trying to get her in, in uh, the best shape humanly possible so that she can go out on the perimeter. She's a special player and, and uh, we certainly working on the things that, that she needs to improve on. And now I'll give you a chance to, if there's anything you would like to add to what Coach Six had just mentioned. 
Um, no, I'm good. He, he really explained everything. I'm working on my conditioning and all just to be in the best shape as possible so I can contribute good to my team. And yeah. All right. Well, do we don't see any further questions coming in. Um, so we'll go ahead and let you both go. We appreciate you joining us uh, today. We wish you the best of luck this coming season. I'll say we wish you to stay safe and healthy. And we look forward to seeing the Lady Pirates compete later this season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we will continue on with our, our next coach, the head coach of the men's team, Edward Buck Joyner, and his senior guard, Davion Warren. Coach, good afternoon. Hope you can hear and see me all right. How are you? How are good. Great to see well. you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining. Let's uh, go ahead and get started with your assessment on how uh, the preseason activities have been with you and your team. You know, what are some of the challenges and obstacles that you're fighting through as you prepare for the upcoming year? Well, I mean, first of all, I don't think it's no different from anybody else. Uh, with the unknown of, 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 of COVID-19 and everything else and the, and the flip-flopping of, of games and all, all those types of things, you know, we, we, I think we've had some of the same challenges as everybody else. Uh, again, we have a, a new contingent of guys, a large number of new contingent of guys. So, you know, we, we kind of paint by numbers right now. You know, every day is, is something different that we're, we're focusing on. We're working it with, and, and we're working on trying to get, you know, those group of guys ready to play and ready to play the way that we want to play. Um, you know, again, you do have guys like Davion and Ed, Ed, Edward Oliver Hampton and Russell. Uh, uh, Russell Dean and th those guys who played with us last year who, who make it the transition a little easier with their carryover. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, every day is a different challenge. And, and you know, we kind of taking it as it comes and having fun with it. Thank you, Coach. Let's welcome in Davion Warren, senior guard. Davion, thanks for joining us today. Your assessment on how, from your perspective as a student athlete, how the preseason is going especially with so much of an offensive build void to fill the season and what you personally are looking to contribute to the squad? Uh, look, pretty much just looking to contribute whatever I can, whether scoring, playing defense, rebounding, or even bringing my, my effort from the bench, just whatever we got to take for us to get the win, I'm cool with. All right, well, thank you. We'll go ahead and start taking questions for uh, – both Davion and Coach, and uh, Coach, as we wait for those to come in again, enter name in the group chat, and we'll take the questions as they come in. Coach, how do you build off the great run to the title game uh, from last year? Uh, that's a good question. Again, because we are we are a new team, but it it does give the guys that that play uh, and the new guys coming in something to build for uh, and something to reach for. Uh, we thought, you know, with, with as much adversity as we had last year, I mean, at one point during the season, we had lost three or four of our starters due to injury, and, and two of those being Jermaine Merrill and Greg Hextall doing conference play. Uh, so, again, that, that was the part of the emergence of Davion Warren and some of those other guys. Uh, so, again, uh, we really don't talk much about going to the championship game last year and the run that we made last year. We do talk about – some of the things that we did in a positive manner to help us get to that point. But uh, we don't talk much about this team doing that. We're a different team, you know, different group. But we, we, we do use that to, to, to instill in them every day that if you trust the process, the beautiful thing about college basketball is it's about the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, different from football where you could drop a few games early and it could end your season from a bowl standpoint or a championship standpoint. Uh, but in basketball, again, you can walk into the tournament 0-29 or 0-30. But if you walk out 4-30, you know, it was a great year and a great turnaround. So that's the way we look at it. Thank you, Coach. So we're going to move on to questions first. Uh, John Tittle for Davion. Go ahead, John. Hey, Davion. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Um, yes, just wanted to know um, – I believe you're the only returning starter from last year's uh, title game against Winthrop. Um, I understand if you kind of like flush that game or don't talk about it a lot, but as the only returning starter who's a senior, I was wondering how much pressure is there on you to be a leader this year? Uh, there's, there's no pressure, to be honest. Um, you know, leaders lead, and it's just natural. 
Uh, just my teammates believe in me. They believe in themselves to keep them that. We all was at the championship together. I wasn't just there by myself. So we all got the feel of how everything, how everything went and what it takes to get there. Thank you, John. Uh, Ray Nemo, you're next. Go ahead, Ray. Coach, I want to ask uh, how unique of a situation is this, or is it just kind of another run of the mill thing where, you know, you got no, nobody made the preseason all conference teams. Uh, you got so many new players. You know, obviously, Davion is returning, and it, it seems very much like a clean slate um, where nobody's expecting much of you guys as far as the preseason poll. So, um, how does this kind of compare with past seasons that you've been in where, uh, you just kind of have to start from the ground up, and and what has it been like for you? Uh, it it is unique. Uh, we're, we're coming coming from a situation where, you know, especially leaving the MEAC and even coming into the Big South, we we've always been one of those teams that's been, been picked top half, you know, or even top half of the top half. So uh, in those in those situations, you know, that was one of the things that that we were able to build off and. And, and talk about and, and help get out, prepare ourselves, you know, but, but this is new. And, and again, we don't, we don't look at it as, as in, in the way that a lot of people do. We like the fact that, that there are no expectations. We like the fact that people don't think much of us And that. That means that we could come in from the backside and hopefully surprise a few people. Uh, again, as, as a coach, it is a little different, not having as much experience as we've used to have. And we've been blessed. You know, over, over my tenure here that we didn't lose a lot of players or we had a good situation where we turned over a lot of guys from year to year. This is the first time in my tenure that I've, I've got it pretty much a whole new team. Now, what makes a lot of that easier is guys like Davion because uh, he's one of those guys who lead by example. You know, he really don't say much, but he works hard, you know, and, and the team is trying to follow him. Uh, the biggest thing we feel like we're going to have to do is help a young team uh, possibly have to deal with adversity early, and if we and and we're not putting so much into the non-conference, we want to get those games through, and we're kind of using those as practice. We don't want to lose, but we're using those as practice to build this team to get ready for the conference. And my goal now is to make sure that they're as strong as they can possibly be when we walk into that Big South tournament, no matter what happens in between, because of how crazy this year it, we feel like it may be. Davion, I want to ask you, kind of bouncing off of that, obviously when, when newer players come in, they usually have a good crop of upperclassmen to kind of get a sense of what a program, what a program's culture is. But you being one of the few older guys, uh, what do you hope to teach these new guys that have come in either by transfer or from high school? What do you want to teach them about the culture of Hampton and what, what it takes to reach a, a conference final? Uh, I just want to let the guys know that, you know, the Hampton brings the toughness. Like we have to go out there playing with a chip on our shoulder. Like we're ranked number nine right now in the I mean in the conference, so we're not expecting nothing. So we go out there and lose. You guys expect us to lose. We go out there and play hard and win. You didn't expect us to win. So if we just go out there and play basketball, don't worry about who's saying what or who's or or who even worried about us. If we just worry about ourselves and just play basketball night in night out, we'll be fine. But like we got the talent that nobody even know that we have. So we'll be fine, though. And Coach, I want to ask, um, you were just talking about Davion, so I want to talk about some of the, the newer players that you've brought in. Has anybody kind of stood out as, as far as, like, impressing you in, in the brief amount of conditioning or, or practice that you guys have been able to have? Uh, first and foremost is, is Russell Dean. Uh, he, he did start a few games for us as a, as a freshman at point guard. Uh, but it wasn't his team. Generally, your point guard is the heart and soul of your team. It was Jermaine Merrill's team. Uh, him, he, along with Davion, and, and those two guys are close. They, they, they come into practice together. They leave practice together. Uh, but but he's, he's upped his game, not only from a, a, a physical standpoint and a conditioning standpoint, but from a focal standpoint. And, uh, again, uh, he and Davion together have kind of taken the team over and taken it up under their wing, and we feel like, we're going to go emotionally as far as they go. Uh, Marquise Godwin, and a lot of people don't talk about that. We have two transfers, Marquise Godwin and Dejua Dickens. Uh, those are two NCAA tournament guys. They actually started on the NCAA tournament team. 
Uh, again, I can't, nobody can promise what type of production they're going to bring us versus what, what they did where they were. But I can say that they've come in and they've been, you know, a, a pleasant surprise or, or they've added a type of experience to us that, again, this transition hasn't been easy with all these new players, but they're coming in with enough experience and knowing enough about the game that it has sped up what we've been able to teach and how fast we've been able to learn some things because of what they already know. Uh, and then last but not least is Edward Oliver Hampton. Uh, we expected big things of him last year, but and he did some good things, but at the end of the day, it was a matriculation year for him coming from being the man on his junior college team to the role that he played had to play for us last year. Uh, and then to see us go to a championship with him playing a role versus being the 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 the, the main focus of the team, uh, he's come back with a different attitude. And he's able to explain to these younger guys how to be successful in their role. And, you know, we believe a talking team is a winning team. So, you know, he, when he could come in and talk about those things and help those guys, and then you got Davion and Deuce from the physical aspect uh, playing hard every day and trying to show what that takes. You know, we, we feel like at the end of the day, our chances, you know, can be just as good as anybody else, but it is a learning process. Uh, the last question that I have, uh, a Coach, is – with Hampton uh, canceling, you know, other sports and, and different seasons and there being not many people at all on campus, have you thought about at all about, like, how what it's like for you and, like, the women's team to kind of carry that mantle, carry that banner for, for Hampton athletics and, and what that would mean for the, the fans just to be able to watch you guys play? Well, uh, for, for the first part of the question, I, I personally put that on my shoulders every year anyway. You know, I support everybody, but I always feel like I have to carry the mantle. Now, that may not that may not be true, but I personally feel like that, and that helps motivate me. Uh, I'm taking the opposite effect with, the, you know, when you talk about the students and the fans and, and, and the opportunity that I'm the situation that they may not be there and us having to play through that. You know what? Sometimes, in my opinion, that might be a good thing because now they don't have anybody to show off for. So it'd probably be easier to coach now because it ain't going to be, you know, they, they don't have anybody that they have to show off and try to play a certain way and go be yourself. And then we, you know, and again, that's what we teach and we preach. So, you know, hopefully it'll all work out in the end. Hopefully we'll end up with a vaccine or something that we can get people in the stands. But other than that, you know, we, we go, I hope, I'm hoping and we're teaching that they put out a certain, a certain effort, whether it's fans in there, people there or not. Thanks, Ray. We'll move on to Scott Cash. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, uh, Buck, uh, you mentioned the pot of gold. If, if this team's going to do things right and get to that pot of gold, <clears throat> what, what's going to have to go right? Well, uh, again, one, we're going to have to be able to handle adversity early, you know, because, again, we got a new group of guys, and, and we don't know how they're going to respond to certain situations, and we don't have scrimmage games and things like that to be able to gauge that. But at the, it, it's, it's the old school mentality. We're going to have to defend. You know, I think a different from, from years before, and we've been a downhill team. We do shoot threes, but we coming at you. We're trying to put up 80, 90 points, you know, if we can. I think this team is, is not necessarily built different, but what I've seen in practice thus far is that we have more people that can shoot the basketball. I don't know that I've had this many guys, I think, that have been capable of making a three, you know, in a while. But I think the biggest key to us winning and trying to get back to where we, where we were is going to be defense. Uh, and Dejo Dickens, we've never had – I haven't had a shot blocker back there that long and that athletic since I had Danny Agbelez, I think maybe my first or second year coaching when he was the number two shot blocker in the nation. So it, we're going to have to defend, and I think Dejo is going to have to be good for us on the back end, helping us, helping us in defense because of our length for us to be good and let, let the rest of the game come to us from our defense. Let our defense create early offense for us. All right, I'm good, and good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. We're not seeing any more questions, so, Coach, we'll go ahead and let you go. Davion, thanks so much for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate your time. Uh, we wish you all the best of luck. Stay, stay safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing the Pirates compete later this season. Thank you.